All right, we're on to example two now, and we're going to calculus, calculate the surface area of this prism, which is a triangular prism. Okay, so uh, if we look at the surface area of this, it's made of five shapes. All right, so we'll start, we'll use red, and we'll look at the triangle at the front. Let's call this shape one. If we want to find the area of the shape, area of shape 1, we're going to use the formula half times base times height, or um, our base is 4 and our height is 3, so half times 4 times 3, which comes out to 6 meters squared. So that's the area of the triangle at the front. And I want to point out that there's another shape like this. The triangle at the back is the exact same triangle as the one at the front. So we'll say um, area 2 also equals 6 meters squared. All right, um, the next thing is, is you've got some rectangles to look at. And there's actually three rectangles. And I think to help with this, I'm going to rub out the, the triangles. Uh, otherwise, they sort of get in the way a little bit. And I'm going to try my best to help you see the three rectangles um, that are present here. We've got a rectangle here. Let's call that shape three. And we've also got a rectangle for on the base. All right. I'll show you the third rectangle a bit later. This is our base rectangle. This is shape four. Okay. So let's calculate the area of these ones. So area three, this rectangle is a three by seven meter rectangle because this line here is seven. This one is seven as well. So we're just going to go three times seven or 21 meters squared. Um, area four is the base rectangle, which is a four by seven rectangle. So seven times four is 28 meters squared. Let's make this look more like an eight. 28 meters squared. And last of all, there's a fifth rectangle. And I'm not sure if I can, I think I might trace around it in red. But the fifth rectangle is this is the one at the very top. So if I trace around this in red, this is my fifth shape, sorry, not fifth rectangle, fifth shape or third rectangle. And it's this one in red. It's kind of if I was colouring in. It's the, kind of like the top or, or lid, maybe, of that shape. So this one is a 7 by, and, and we've got to figure out the length of this line. And they haven't actually given it to you. They haven't told you the length of this line or the length of this one. These are both the same. I'll put a question mark here as well. Okay, in fact, actually, no, let's not put a question mark. Let's put an X. We're going to find the length of this line. And hopefully you've noticed that they've actually, this is a right angle triangle. So we're going to do a bit of Pythagoras theorem, just a little bit on the side. X squared equals 3 squared plus 4 squared. Okay, now if you're wondering where I got that from, it's from the formula C squared equals A squared plus B squared. And I've just replaced the C, the A and the B with X3 and 4. Um, then X squared will equal 25 which means x is the square root of 25, x equals 5 meters, all right? So that's what x is there, which means that our rectangle here is a 7 by 5 meter rectangle. All right, 7 times 5 is 35 meters, sorry, squared. All right, now we need to find our surface area, and the surface area is always found by adding together each shape. So we've got two triangles, each with area of 6. We've got three rectangles, one with an area of 21, 28, and last of all, an area of 35. So we'll add those numbers up. And I've got 96 meters squared. 